Hello and welcome to my shop. This is Jim Dedman, Sawlogs Plastic Hubs. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, we'll be doing something interesting. So uh, hang around, let's have fun. Good morning, this is Jim and I've been playing in the shop today. Uh, let me turn my screen down, I got a little bit of light on it. Uh, there's just several little things I've done today and I've, I've videoed. Uh, some of it's going in slot the shop, some of it be its own separate video series. This one right here I got in my hand I'm going to show you is another piece for my 12 inch bandsaw conversion. It's a, basically a, I modified the fence with a piece of derling that I had. Uh, this will let me put it on the saw and give me a push all the way across the saw. And it's again a piece of the, the, the derling that I've scrapped and then that used it to point that the saw could be bumped into and not hurt the blade or anything like that. So this is the part, the finished piece. And you're going to see me dig something out of the scrap pile and all that good stuff today. So hang with us. As you can see, I've got a piece of Durlin, and I've got another project in mind. And this morning is just project morning. I'm just, it's a rainy day. I've got a lot of my videos rendered and loaded, and I'll say this in case you don't realize. Well, I'm going to say how I do YouTube. A lot of my videos and stuff that I do, I do them. I'm going to take this piece of scotch bright and knock this rust off of this, too. I'm not wanting to do a lot of milling on this piece of material. I just want to use it. Might just hit it with a little bit of brake cleaner. What I'm going to do here is this is a little piece for the saw. The saw has a fence on it, by the way. Well, not a fence, but uh, the angle piece. And I'll show you it in just a little bit. Um, I've, I've got it out recently. I've never used it. And the person, obviously, who had my saw was a woodworker. So what I want to do is make me a little fence to bolt to my saw so, like, I can use the fence and push with it. And to do that, I got to get out to my junk pile and just to show you what kind of junk I have this is some of the darling that I have it's uh, it's probably going to take a little machining to get it cleaned up but uh, basically what you're seeing here and I made this, I'm thinking about just doing the ends and leaving these natural surfaces, maybe machine them a little bit. Because this is 12 inches. This is going to be the width of the saw. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of lay it out and um, woodworker style about maybe me about a two inch maybe like a two inch block here then I'm gonna saw it off and then I'm gonna turn around and then we'll probably put it in the mill and kind of mill it and I don't know how I, what I said the whole whole thing yet I ain't decided like most things I don't want it but a couple inches tall because uh, it's just gonna bolt to the fence so I'm going to kind of lay it out here so what I'm going to do, find me a pencil here, and I can see this side. That's one reason I tried to get the dirt off of it. Do it just like a carpenter. We're not trying to get fancy because the mill is going to take care of a lot of air. And you saw this. I'm going to actually take a skill saw and saw it because Darlin will cut a lot more like, cuts a lot like wood. So I'm just going to grab my skill saw and cut this. I'll bring you back and I'll get my skill saw. I'll already do this. Um, got my skill saw out. And my dad, you've heard me talk about dad a lot in these videos. I'm going to actually go this direction so I can kind of hold it. And dad, 
My dad was an uh, avid fisherman. We made fishing lures. Part of the name for my channels comes from this. Working with darling is a lot like working with wood. And it's, I know this is not going to be perfect. So I already see it's crooked. But that's what a milling machine's for. I must have not have drawn my line straight. So <clears throat> I know that I was going to be off. So we'll get her over here in the mill and see what we can do with her. This thing really crooked. So it kind of got to the middle. And it was not happy, and I decided. And hobby machining discretion is the best part of valor. My mail will do stuff that I don't want it to do. I got a hoss. My lagoons are a lot bigger and heavier and stiffer than a lot of bridge forts, so. What we're going to do, this is the last little pass. I'm just going to take about 20,000 to make sure everything's flat after taking them humongous cuts out of it. And like I said, Darling's pretty forgiving stuff. And, uh, and like I said, that fly cutter is a really greatly used tool in my shop. And what we're doing is just basically doing a nice, simple little machine. I'm going to clean this up. I'll probably just clean all four corners up. That way I have nice, clean surfaces. I mean, it ain't going to take a little bit of time. And as, you, as I say, this is stuff that I've dealt with. And we know about what we got here. I may cut me off some of this and some of this here left may get cut up into uh, material to turn something else out of. I may take a piece or two of this and make me some darling rods out of like I, I've done before. That's another thing on my list is make me up some more darling rounds because I really need it. I've got so much of this big flat like this. I've got a lots of it. I bought uh, basically a box. Uh, I'm not talking about a cardboard box. I'm talking about like a, a crate box of it. Right before I retired from eating, they were selling it at a 5S sale. I bought the whole box full for $15. So that's part of what this darling here is, is some sort of a transmission bracket. Let's take it up. A knife like this and just raking the corners with it. There's a little bit of chatter right here on these ends, but I'm not going to go through all that trouble today. Um, I figure, folks, that we're just as well off. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to set this one up. Just kind of average it. This would be one of them cases. It'd be really nice to have two vices just alike. I'm telling you. It sure would, wouldn't it? All right, let me turn her on. Take another 20 thou off. And roll it back this way and we'll have this material screwed up and you're ready for the next step. I'm not going to bore you with the whole cut, but there was sharp. You might ask why I'm using just a standard insert, not putting my aluminum in. On this here pass, and I've had to come back, that was warped a little bit. Right here, there's a, I need, there's a screw sticking to it. Because they just put this together as like wood screws. So I heard it hit going across. That wouldn't have been good on aluminum insert. So you, you find out real quick when you're doing this stuff what happens. 
The other reason that other stuff chattered a little bit is because of it. It's on the countersink side of it. This side here just looks really good. So I've got this piece ready to go to the saw now if it comes off. Well, if you can see right here is the screw that stuck out that was in it. Sitting here on the table, this is the wooden piece that was on it. It was actually set up. I don't know how they had it, why they had it set in such a configuration, but that was the wooden piece that was on my saw. This is the new darling one that I just finished up. And you've seen all the work done on it. So that's kind of the plan for this. It's just something to, uh, you know, in case I wanted to use it to push with, right there it is. It's nice and handy and it works good. So you can't beat that with a stick. I hope you enjoyed the video. So uh, let's put a disclaimer out of the way. This video is my idea how to do things. It's not uh, uh, the only way. So I hope you enjoyed it today. The other thing, comments are always welcome. Please take the time if you feel so inclined to make a comment on my videos. Also, I appreciate all my subscribers, the new ones and the new ones. And finally, the other disclaimer. This is a copyrighted production of James Dedman, Saw Logs Plastic Hubs, for your enjoyment on YouTube. Thank you, have a great day, and we will see you in the next video.